Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Ahsoka Tano. Now, she made her very first appearance in the animated film Star Wars, The Clone Wars, that was released in 2008. She's a female of the Togruta alien race that was born on the planet of Shili, although she was raised on Coruscant. And she was famously known as the hot-headed and rebellious Padawan to Jedi Master Anakin Skywalker, who would later become the infamous Darth Vader. Now, as a fully grown Togruta female, Ahsoka stands about five feet nine inches tall and has blue eyes, along with brownish orange skin that has white markings. Now, despite her diminutive size when compared to many of her peers and foes, Ahsoka is known as a fearless individual, being quoted as having only one peer when it comes to her determination, and that was her former master, Anakin Skywalker. From the very beginning, she was gifted with natural raw force skills. At a very young age, being able to detect the intentions and emotions of those around her. And of course, these abilities would continue to grow throughout her life. At her peak, Ahsoka could use force powers that were very significant. Having feats such as holding Darth Maul aloft in the sky above the city of Sundari for a period of time, and having the strength to prevent a small starship from taking off. Not to mention that she was able to produce a very powerful protective force barrier that could briefly hold back all the fiery dark side energies that were conjured by Darth Sidious. And that's not even considering that she regularly uses her force powers to guide her two lightsabers to perform various feats. And she's one of the very few Jedi who are extremely adept at using force powers to perform acrobatics while in battle easily flipping and dropping down on foes such as General Grievous and even Darth Vader himself. And this is a major problem for her enemies, especially when you consider the fact that she's used to using an unorthodox reverse grip style during her combat. Only developing a traditional grip years after her master continued to insist that she learned. She wasn't always the greatest at lightsaber combat, but she did eventually become extremely proficient gradually beginning to favor a variant of Form 5 in battle, just like Anakin, although it was said that she would become very proficient at Form 6 as well. Of course, incorporating her two-bladed Jarkai style into this as well. Typically using one standard length lightsaber in addition to one Shoto lightsaber. These initially having green and yellowish green blades, then transitioning to blue, while they now both sport a white blade. And to top off all of these abilities, she's also an excellent war strategist and a fighter pilot. With her learning from one of the best, she even sang that she went to the pilot school of Skywalker. Now, although Ahsoka was identified at three years old for Jedi training, we first see her as a 14-year-old Jedi Padawan of Anakin Skywalker. We see her grow and train under him for quite a while until she was outcasted after the Clone Wars. It's then that we see her help establish networks of various rebel cells against the Galactic Empire. She'd gradually grow to be a more settled and respected leader of the rebellion, at one point even losing her life in the struggles against the dark side. Although some of the life energies from the daughter, who was the personification of the light side, would be used to resurrect Ahsoka. Ahsoka's agility and proficiency at close quarters combat would also allow her to be one of the very few Jedi to survive Order 66, with her going into hiding for quite a while after this. And although Ahsoka was somewhat disillusioned with not only her former master, who had now become Darth Vader, as well as the Jedi Order itself, she would eventually take on an apprentice by the name of Sabine Wren contributing to the development of the next generation of Force Sensitives within the galaxy. Now, for her powers and abilities, and her influence on the Star Wars universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Ahsoka Tano a rating of 8, which is an unforgettable rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.